He's like, don't. Friday, I'm racing you at the track. I was like, you're going to be f mad. You're going to come back and have to spend all your money. <laughs> I was like, you're going to be mad, Derek. I promise. Don't do it this, to me. He's got good tires. He'll be good. He'll be good. It'll run good. You hear that? He said it ain't going to beat his car. Are you going to track like on Friday? 6, you, you went 640, 650s was the best you went. It was a 200 with me what, in it. What was the best you've been, though? Full weight. 650s. 650s. That car can go faster than 650. Full weight. That car can go Full weight with the 200 shot. That car can go faster than 650. I'm going to spray a 250 I, out of the you're hole. You're not listening to me. <laughs> you're not listening. That car's going to go faster than what you've been, so don't say you coulda, woulda, shoulda. That's going to go faster than 650 on Friday. Mine will, too. On some crappy track on a Friday night, it's still going to do it. Crappy track. Birds get stuck in HMP, bro. Birds. Birds. They had a bird fly by, land on the track, and he was stuck. I saw him picking him out of the stuff. Last episode, you guys saw us baseline the stock C8 that's getting our custom catback exhaust. We're gonna show you some dyno after the install and some street driving. Here it is now. How's it going there, buddy? Looks like you're almost done. You want me to put the camera up and help you? With the V-band? Yeah. All right. All right. Let me, let, here, let me put this up, I'll help you. on it, you That's had sockets wrist. on it. Is it any ratchet? Is it moving? No. Nope. Nice no. moving. Hey, do that thing with the claw again, Steven. Come on, see if he knows a movie reference. How's that? Quaid, come on. Oh, it's like the guy from Terminator's in there. There you go, you're, you're getting it. Oh, uh, it's one with the three titties. Yes! Total Recall. Total Recall. Yeah. I gotta do a little intro. We're about to do our first startup of our uh, twin sequential bicentennial turbo kit, uh, air to dry ice intercooler. So here we go, folks. This look, this look.
That's a true statement right there. <laughs> Hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> We are in Mr. Ryan's 2021 beautiful C8 Corvette. Just finished our LMR stainless catback exhaust system. Car sounds phenomenal. Hopefully I can get y'all some good street footage and hopefully it sounds good uh, from these GoPros that we're using. On the dyno, we made three baseline pulls, literally installed the catback same day, made three more pulls. It was an average of 12, almost 13 rear wheel horsepower gain which isn't bad for just doing a cat back system. And again, not only do you get extra horsepower, to me the best benefit of this cat back is the sound. You feel like you're in an exotic V8. Uh, that's the best way for me to describe it. There's other exhausts out on the market that have smaller mufflers or no mufflers that are louder. Um, some that have bigger mufflers uh, that are quieter. I just, the way this X-pipe is made that we designed with this muffler set up, I just love the exotic sound, I call it, that it gets. Um, we're gonna get some room here. I haven't done it yet in this car, but we'll see if we get a, it's probably gonna spin. It's pretty cold out today. It's 60 degrees, but we're gonna try a zero to 60 real quick. That way y'all can hear this thing. You ready, buddy? Yep. These cars to me, anything over 60, you can tell they need more horsepower, but you ready? Yep. It really makes the car, it feels like you're in a new car right now compared to, I guarantee when he picks the car up and he drives it, it's gonna feel like he's in a completely different car. It's not gonna sound horrible like that little import. <laughs> so it's exhaust only, right? It's literally just what, a cat, just a cat back only. Stock cats, stock baby, manifolds. Baby everything. step B. Uh, if he wants to, we have a high flow cats that we sell as well. And then after that, we have a long tube headers that we sell as well. And so we have a full exhaust system if he wants it. Um, 
again, to me, this sounds like an exotic V8. You put the high flow cats on it, gives it, it's a little bit louder, still has the exotic sound, but a little bit deeper tone. Uh, then once you add the headers to it, that's when I think they sound more like a American muscle car. Uh, obviously louder, a little bit deeper tone, and doesn't have as much of the exotic sound, but with our X-pipe and our mufflers, it still gives it that exotic sound. It's just, I, I give it the little steps, like the layers. If you want crazy, just the higher pitch exotic, cat back only. If you want a little bit louder, high flow cats. And if you really want it even louder, headers as well. But it makes it like a deeper tone from what I, in my opinion. Performance wise, what are you gonna get? So cat back, just on average, this one just was about 13 rear wheel horsepower. High flow cats, I wanna say we picked up, uh, it's been a long time, Dean, since we did the test, but uh, I'm just gonna say 10, eight to 10. Uh, the, the stock cats aren't bad at all. Uh, they're, they look really big, but they actually flow very well. And same thing with the headers. Um, they claim 20 rear wheel horsepower gains with the headers. Uh, we've done several tests. We didn't quite see that much. Um, I think the last set we did actually did see it, but on the first couple sets we didn't see as much. The stock, how do I say this? The stock headers from the car are already pretty decent. The stock cats are already pretty decent. And if we're not doing anything to the engine like we do with our other stuff, uh, we do, you know, like heads and cam and stuff like that. Obviously you'd see a lot more bigger gain uh, larger gains by doing the headers and a more free-flowing exhaust because the engine's still stock by putting a bigger primary on it and with the collector yes we pick up more but we're not getting a huge gain from it um, like I said if it had heads and cam like our SS you know 19 Camaro or regular C7 Corvette that's where we'd see the 20 to 25 even 30 or 40 rear wheel horsepower gains from a full header to cats in a cat back system he said he's admiring the car <laughs> He kept giving us a yeah, he kept giving us a thumbs up. And for those of you uh, watching at home, if any of you do have C8 Corvettes, we have stainless and titanium in stock ready to ship so you either uh, ship your car to us or bring it to us we can install it in a day or uh, if you have a local installer that you trust give us a call and we can ship it out same day you pay for it and uh, you can have someone install it at your uh, local state wherever you're from he says he hasn't slept in two days dude i can't wait to get him <laughs> this is so exciting dude so it's got heat in it so when you first crank it it won't be as loud like okay. in the mornings it's gonna be a lot louder. Oh good, I can wake I, up my neighbors. Yeah, because the idle will be higher, right? You got it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sick. That's what I'm after right there. It's that's what I'm after. Yes. I mean bro. Yes. It's already got heat in it, so. Yeah. A lot different? Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds a hell of a lot better. I mean, I like the stock exhaust just fine, but this beats the hell out of that. It looks better too. Oh yeah, absolutely. 100%. I just showed him the dynograph. So it was yeah. four baseline, 437. Uh, then we went to 451. So you're talking a 14 rear wheel horsepower gain. Torque, you can see right there, it's about seven. That was one of the better ones, you know. Rock on. Yes, I'm sir. I'm glad my car can do something great. Yeah. Other than make me look good. If you got any questions, <laughs> man, let me know, but enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. Can you hear it from up there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 